Back Deck Barbecue literally started on the back deck of Chan Nelson's home, and now they're moving into a home of their own. The first time we grilled out right here in front of my house, we had what I call blackened chicken. Chan Nelson's come a long way since then. His mouth-watering food draws crowds of hundreds outside his mobile kitchen. You'd never know this former fourth grade math teacher learned most of his skills from a cooking show marathon. Barbecue Pitmaster sparked a passion that marinated into something much bigger. And I was just like, are you still watching this? He's like, yeah. He was captivated by the show. There was no change in the channel that day. I don't know, it was something that drew me to that world. The smell, the feeling, the, the time it takes to do it, all of those things combined, just, I was like, just do it. His wife, Cherry, admits she was surprised when Nelson announced he was trading full-time teaching for full-time flavor. Yeah, I was like, what did you think? I, I think I said, uh, wh what? No, I've, I think I, I might have threatened to kill him. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I didn't, obviously, so it's okay. Cherry was quickly on board, even helping cook as the business grew from lines around their house to lines outside the mobile kitchen. It's been a blessing. It's been humbling. It's been crazy. It's been tiring, oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's been fun. Uh, we're just we're just enjoying the ride. And the next stop on that ride is here, 801 West Kenwood Drive. The former Jimbo's Barbecue near Colonial Gardens offers more space to feed the growing appetite Nelson's seeing for his food. He launched a Kickstarter to help avoid debt as he moved into a brick and mortar restaurant. They raised more than $28,000 and with weeks left to go, they're hoping to hit 50,000 to make renovations and purchase equipment for the bear kitchen. Nelson thanks God as he watches his dream unfold into reality. When we started, I used to talk about having a line out of the door. Marvis Herring, WLKY News.